In today's video I gonna show you how to level the zone source. The zone level may vary because the distance from the audio source to the microphone location may vary. Some people misinterpret the effect of audio normalization. It is believed that the change in the intensity of the zone recording can be solved by normalization. What does Wikipedia say about normalization? Normalization adjusts the gain by a constant value across the entire recording. This means that normalization cannot able to compensate the changes in amplitude of the zone source. I gonna demonstrate to you what normalization is doing. I recorded a sentence that was spoken evenly. Let's listen. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. Now, using the audio director, I gonna change the amplitude of the zone in some places. I place keyframes on the volume bar and drag up and down the keyframe position to adjust the amplitude. Let's listen the result. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. Save this track and import it into the power director. As you can see, the amplitude of the zone source is changing by time. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. Now, if I open the context menu on the voice, the normalization menu item isn't available because normalization only increases or decreases the volume throughout the recording. I am now placing two new copies of my recording on the audio track. I change the volume of the first and the third recording. You can see in this overlay box the changed volume gain in decibels. Open the audio mixing room. The normalization button is active now because we have more recording on our audio track. So the normalization algorithm is able to level the volume between the recordings. Start a normalization. As you can see, with the help of normalization, the volume was set to the same level as was before. However, the change in recording amplitude remained the same. Let's listen. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. To eliminate the changes in recording amplitude, open the audio editor. Then open the dynamic range compression tool. Because the volume change is very large from minus 3 decibels to minus 20 decibels, I cannot use a compressor, so I gonna use the limiter to reduce the amplitude of the signal. As you can see on the scale, the quietest part of the signal is around minus 20 decibels. Therefore, I set the limit value of the limiter to minus 20 decibels. This means that if the volume exceeds minus 20 decibels, the limiter will start limiting the signal. Change the ratio what determines how much compression is applied on the signal. I will apply more than 10 to 1 ratio. Unfortunately, the power director doesn't display the changed values in the zoned wave graph. You need to turn on playback to hear the change. Listen to the transition between the quiet and load parts. Change the attack it's value to zero. The to attack means the that how quickly the limiter will begin to act once the, the signal passes the threshold. The threshold now is minus 20 decibels. So the zero value be, will be ok. Increase the compression ratio. Since the limiter reduced the high amplitude, use the output gain to amplify the signal. Then hit apply to see the resulted wave graph. Is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain. As you can see, the amplitude is much more even. Push the signal a little more, then close the dialog. 
gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. The original and the new wave graph are completely different. Let's listen the compensated signal. Audio normalization is the application of a constant amount of gain to an audio recording to bring the amplitude to a target level. You can hear that the limiter cut the amplitude a little aggressively. Unfortunately, if the compression ratio is above 10 to 1, we cannot use audio compressor. Above this ratio, the audio compressor acts as a limiter. The compressor is a lot smoother than the limiter. So thanks for watching, if you like this video make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time, bye.